So this is the image that I used and essentially when you're turning a photo into an anime, you gotta make sure that there are certain elements in it that closely resembles an anime. Such as in this picture, these buildings, this nice open sky, etc, etc. So what I did here first is that I cropped the image into a standard 16x9 aspect ratio. Then I used the pen tool to separate the buildings from the sky. And of course, this took time, so I'll fast forward this. And once I had them on separate layers, I added a hue saturation adjustment layer and I reduced the lightness to minus 77. And then I added this beautiful looking sky and I placed it into position so that the sun was on the left side of the frame. I then added another image of a sky but this time one that of a night sky and I changed the blending mode to overlay. I then reduced the opacity of the layer to about 83% and I placed it into position as well. And after that I made a few more adjustments with the position of the two images and you'll see me do that quite often throughout this edit. So the idea here is to create some saturated colors throughout the scene because one of the things that's very common in an anime is bright saturated colors and now that we got a sunset I did the same thing here as well. So I clipped the layer to the buildings layer and I turned its blending mode to color dodge and I picked a bright shade of orange from the sky using the color picker tool and you could say that I painted the town red but instead I used orange and then I reduced its opacity to about 50% and after this I did the exact same thing but with a different shade of orange and overlay as the blending mode and this is gonna set the theme for the whole edit which is painting over the elements and for that I'm gonna be using a bunch of different blending modes. I then added a layer on top of the sky layers but behind the foreground and I added some orange light at the horizon because obviously during a sunset the horizon would always be filled with a lot of orange color and after that I turned the blending mode to overlay. I then went ahead and I started painting in some highlights on the buildings using a soft rounded brush and different shades of orange. Also, I used a lot of different layers and color dots as the blending mode. I then went ahead and I used the pen tool to separate the terrace and the metal fence from the buildings because I want that to be the foreground and the buildings to be the midground and the sky to be the background. And then I added a layer on top of everything and using orange as the foreground color and color dodge as the blending mode, I added some orange glow and I also made sure that it did not affect the bottom portion of the image. And then by using a brush, I started adding highlights to this foreground element as well. And here too, I used different blending modes and tried different shades of orange. And the really cool thing about this whole edit is that you can try different blending modes and different shades of orange and you'll find that most of them would work just fine and it's mainly based on preference. And after that I added a layer on top of everything and I made the top portion of the image darker by adding some black color. And then I added a hue saturation adjustment layer on top of the background layers and I decreased the saturation of blues to minus 12 and the lightness to minus 8. I then added a bit more orange glow on the horizon. I then decided to add a character to this scene. So by using the pen tool, I selected this person from the image and I placed her into the scene. I then changed the hue, the saturation and the lightness of this new element to fit the scene. And before I started adding highlights on this girl, I added a tad more orange glow on the horizon. And once I was done with that, I went back to blending this person with the rest of the scene. And this was a bit difficult for some reason. And it was probably because this was a weird place that she was standing on. But again, nonetheless, I used different shades of orange and different blending modes just like before to add highlights and shadows. And this was mostly trial and error and like I said before, it was all about trying out different blending modes ranging from screen to hard light. So I did indeed end up adding more highlights on the edge of the barricade. And again, this was all about trial and error as well. And for the shadows, I walked into another problem. 
especially since she was standing on this barricade. So I had to manually paint in some shadows within a layer mask of a layer that I used for the highlights. So basically I was just erasing some highlights from behind her. And shadows for me, it gets a bit tricky, especially when you don't have much references to work with. I then duplicated this layer to make the shadow even more prominent. And after that I added more orange color in the sky behind the foreground elements. And then I added more highlights on the buildings using color dodge as the blending mode and a shade of orange as the foreground color. Now this doesn't have to be perfect but just enough so that the light actually looks like sunlight. I then went back to the hue saturation adjustment layer that I had added on top of the sky and I decreased the saturation of the blues further to minus 23. And after that I went back to adding more highlights on the buildings. And again I'm not trying to be too precise here, it's all about giving it an abstract look. And then I painted more highlights on the foreground elements and also more orange glow on the sky. I then added more highlights on the girl and a bit more on the wall that she was standing on. And like I said before this is all trial and error and that's why I ended up using a lot of layers. And then I added more shadows to the other foreground elements. After that I went to the second sky layer and I reduced its opacity to about 77%. And then I added a bit more black color at the bottom cause that's a place that wouldn't be lit by the sun. And then I added a layer on top of everything and I filled this layer using a shade of purple. I then changed the blending mode to screen and I reduced its opacity to 12% to get a faded look. I then rearranged the position of the fence because I wanted the person to be in front of the fence. And I also made sure that the part of the fence behind her was a bit darker than the rest. And after that I used the lens flare brush to add some nice lens flares on the left side of the image where the sun is. And for this I used screen as the blending mode. I then added more highlights and shadows on the person and as well as the foreground elements. And then I added some more black color at the bottom in soft light blending mode. And I also thought I'd add some more light near the sun so I did that as well. And finally I added a layer on top of everything. And I made the top portion of the image a bit more darker as well by painting in some black color in soft light blending mode. And then I went back to the background sky layers and I added another hue saturation adjustment layer on top. And I reduced the lightness of the blues to minus 12 and the saturation to minus 7. And finally I cleaned up the image and I did some small adjustments in camera raw filter and this is the final image.